Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law is named after a physicist, Robert Boyle, who discovered the relationship between pressure and volume of a liquid. And Boyle's Law says that pressure times the volume is equal to a constant. Uh, in other words, pressure and volume are inversely proportional to each other at all times. Another way this could be written would be that P is equal to C over V, if you're more familiar with inverse proportion laws. So what this is saying is, so let's, let's take an example. Let's say that we have a pressure of 25 pascals. Pascals is the unit for pressure. And a volume of uh, 5 liters. And it's equal, that's equal to 125. So our constant in this case, C is equal to 125. The constant changes, but we know that it always stays constant. So in this case, if our pressure, so if our pressure drops to say 10, well then we have 10 times our volume is equal, we know it's equal to 125. Now if we use algebraic rules, we can divide both sides by 10, our 10's cancel, and we can figure out that our volume is equal to 12.5 liters instead of 5. So we see that increase in volume when our pressure decreased. That can be depicted over here in this image here. We have our initial one, we have, so in this case we have a high pressure. This is 25 pascals. And over here our pressure dropped, but our volume increased significantly. So that is, that's an overview of Boyle's Law. Now to use that in an example, we have an example down here. A 2 liter balloon has a pressure of 101.5 kilopascals. When the pressure increases to 1,015 kilopascals, what is the volume? So we have a P1, we have our pressure 1 is equal to 101.5. Our P2 is equal to 101.5, so 1,015. Our volume 1 is equal to 2.0, and our volume 2 is what we don't know. So that's, that's what we're shooting for to figure out our second volume. So I'm going to get some of this out of the way and we'll work it right here. Now there's two ways we could work this. We could work this from this first one, the P1 and V1 and solve for C. Or because we know that they're equal, they equal the same constant, we can actually take P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. And what happens, because we know what we're looking for, our second volume. So what we can do here is we can actually divide, we can solve this before we plug in our, any of our numbers. And our P2 cancels, so V2 is equal to P1 V1 over P2. And we plug in our numbers there and we get 101.5 times 2 over 101.5. Now, when we do all our solving, uh, we get that volume 2 is equal to 0 0.2 liters. So we had a decrease in our volume to 0 0.2 liters. And that is Boyle's Law. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.